Caleb. Money! Dollar dollar bills, y'all! This is definitely one of those cases where the title is ironic. I hate money. I can't stand the ideas behind it, the connotations that come with it, the obsession with it. I hate it. I can't stand the way it feels in my hands. Now don't confuse what I'm saying. I'm not saying we should do away with money. We need some form of currency. Society cannot exist without some means of exchanging this for that. I'm saying I hate what we've done to money. The pertinence people put on paper is putrid. Alliteration. Real quick, I love alliteration. I'm gonna start using it more. Love the stuff. Moving on. Okay, a little bit of knowledge. Almost for as long as we've had things, we've had money. Or rather, some form of it. Hundreds, thousands of years ago, everything from livestock to seashells were used until the introduction of coins. People carried around bags of precious metals like gold and silver pressed into coins of every kind depending on what region of the world you were in. This made sense to everyone. For thousands of years, you were exchanging something of value for something of value. But this currency was cumbersome as you couldn't carry copious quantities of it. The alliteration. Ballers at the time would have to carry around big, huge, heavy pouches or have a couple of his goons follow behind him carrying a trunk. It was actually pretty inconvenient. So, in 7th century AD, the Chinese of the Tang Dynasty were the first people to institute a paper currency system in the form of promissory notes that banks issued to people that were to be paid in gold coins at a later time. Over the next few hundred years, this idea spread to the rest of the world and eventually replaced coins altogether. And everyone hated it. The idea of exchanging valuable materials and services for money that wasn't worth the paper it was printed on was unfathomable to people. They said, are you crazy? And the reply they were given was, no, we're the government. Folks, money is intrinsically worthless. It has worth because we give it worth. If the singularity event were to pass and go south for mankind, all money goes back to being nothing. If T-101s are just roaming the globe, putting hot ones in humans, then all that paper you stacked was pointless. Now I know this is on the extreme side of the spectrum, but the point I'm making is money doesn't mean anything. Now let's focus back on the way things are today. People are obsessed with, and are taught to be obsessed with, greedily grabbing up as much guap as they can get. Alliteration. And to buy what? Rims and shoes and jewelry? And the funny thing is people save up money for this stuff while living in apartments. And usually not even nice apartments. And yes, before anyone that knows me says anything in the comments, yes, I drive a donk or drove a donk. And for anyone that doesn't know what a donk is, it's an older model car lifted and put on really big rims. I have a brown 1979 Cadillac Fleetwood Brom de Elegance on a 10 inch lift and 26 inch rims. I got it for cheap! I don't even drive it anymore. I haven't driven it in months and months. Probably closer to two years I haven't driven. I got it at a point in my life where I didn't know what I know now. I was very heavily influenced by my Texas upbringing and I was involved in a lot of malevolent money mongering. Alliteration. I know now that these things aren't important. Food, drink, clothing, shelter, stability. These things are important. People are important. But maybe more important than even people is knowledge. Knowledge is important. You can't do anything for anyone else without knowledge. You can't take anything with you, not even your body. All you can take is yourself. All you have when you die is in here. Your physical existence begins and ends here. Now, that being said, most folks watching this will agree I'm at least not stupid. A troll and an asshole and an avid fan of having white women smash my testicles but not stupid. I understand the need for the function of money. It's more efficient than trading cows and chickens. I need money just as everyone else does, but I'm not going to kill myself for it. I'm not going to kill anyone else for it. I'm not going to sacrifice my happiness or anyone else's happiness for it. The truth is, many of you watching this make more money than me. Much, much more money than me. Nigga, you took money and shit! I don't do what I do for money. Money has never been a goal of mine. It's not about the money. It's about sending a message. But the more I do this, the more I realize I need some type of revenue to support what I do and what I want to do in the future. So, if any of you ballers out there want to drop me Tree Fitty for some filming, my PayPal information will be in the description. And now, uh, for some money facts. Uh. I don't know why I did that. I thought it was cool at the time. You guys don't think it was cool? Due to frequency of use, a $1 bill's average lifespan is only about 21 months, whereas a $100 bill's lifespan is about 7 years. Cocaine is found on nearly every single dollar in circulation. There is so much, in fact, that if you were to collect $5,000 or so, you'd have enough for a line. Something else found on nearly every dollar? Poop. That is right, my fellow cokeheads. We have all been snorting poop particles also. Poop particles! There are about 180 official currencies in the world, and if you're wondering, 
No, the US dollar is not even close to being the most valuable. US paper money isn't actually paper, it's 75% cotton and 25% linen. The all-seeing eye on the dollar has nothing to do with the Illuminati. As a matter of fact, it was never once called the all-seeing eye until decades later when a bunch of numbnuts got a hold of it. Anyway, it was originally intended to convey divine providence. Divine providence is God's intervention or God's work being done on earth. The image of children of Israel in the wilderness was also considered. The most expensive thing ever built was the International Space Station at $150 billion. If the richest man in the world, Bill Gates, were to spend a million dollars every day, it would take him 218 years to spend all of his money. That man literally can't spend all of his money. For more ridiculousness on the super rich, you can click here. I made a video about it. I did. Inflation is when there is a steady rise in the general prices of things. Oil, metal, produce, whatever. And also a steady rise in the number of bills in circulation, resulting in the value of the dollar dropping. That's what inflation is. Bob Marley's last words were... Money can't buy life. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up, I got things to do! Now, as I promised in my last video, I am opening up my online store, you guys, so you can pick up your first piece of Monkey Gang gear, the Monkey Gang t-shirt, brought to you by the good folks at Luna Eye Clothing Company. You can check the description for the link to the store and Luna Eye's page. Check them both out. Now, anyone picking up one of these bad boys, be sure to send me a picture of you wearing the shirt to my Facebook page, or on the wall, or in the messages. Look, whatever, just do it. I'm gonna be doing something cool with the pictures. All right. I'll see you guys later. Boom! Gary Music, me, jokes, Ali animation. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I especially hope you're all checking the description. I want you to look up those pages, but also to learn a little more about the root of all evil. There's a couple of links down there, one of which is gonna take you to a cartoon. And it explains what the Federal Reserve is. It's a bit long, but it's a cartoon. And I know you've watched plenty of cartoons, so shut up! And watch one that'll learn you something. Now excuse me while I go be broke somewhere and look at all the things I can't buy.